はい。Hello everybody and、uh, thanks very much for tuning in and thank you so much for subscribing and liking and suggesting all of your videos.、Um, we have received a lot of requests and we are going to definitely, definitely get through them. So just give us some time. So if you don't see your video immediately, Don't worry about it. Well,、um, I thought we'll do a try it reaction to a song that came out. It was actually at the top of the charts for a long time this week, like the daily charts and so on. So it was hot, 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 and it came out of nowhere. Actually, it was released and it hovered around the 10. Like top 15 ish, and then all of a sudden it just shot up to number one and replaced Big Bang and EXO as well. So, if you know who I'm talking about, it's Beck Ayon, and the song is so pretty and sweet, and it goes well with the season, I think, like as we change into a summer season. So, usually we Expect those like big hits from Big Bang or whatever,、um, those like thumping beats. But this one's kind of a sweeter love song, and I thought I'll check it out. Now, at first, it didn't really grab my attention, but then just I've been hearing it over and over and over again, and her voice is so sweet, and it's a really, really nice song. So it's a lyric video, so there's nothing really. Too crazy in terms of visuals or so on. So it's just a song, and this is what this section is about listening to songs, checking out new artists. Even though she's not a new artist, she is part of JYP and she was part of the reality show K pop star. And now she's got this song that was just such a surprise hit. So we're gonna check it out and、uh, yeah, listen to it and just. Find out more about the song. So, the song was released on the 19th and it's called Iro Komyon Kuroji Malji. Shouldn't have. And it's featuring Young K. So, what shouldn't you have? Or we shouldn't have? Something like that. So, here we go. Like I mentioned, it is a lyric video and、uh, we're just gonna listen to her amazing voice. So, here we go. Why did you do that, man? I want to know. What was I to you? So it's really nice, right? So it's kind of like she's saying to the guy, like, what happened? Like, if it was that bad, like, what did I do, right?、Like、what went wrong? And you shouldn't have done those things and given me false hope for something. And now that it's all done, I'm going to confess or say it openly. I forgot you. I left, like, I already forgot about you. And I can't change it. So it's all like the text messages. These days, it's like, especially in Korea, many people just have a, like a text message relationship. And that's what you could see earlier in the cacao.、Um, and she's thinking, like, were you always like this? Like, that night, you should have just hugged me instead of saying words that like, made me fall more in love with you. It would have been better if you didn't say those things. This is Young J. It wasn't you, it was me. 
and he's like kind of making excuses, right? Like, whatever. But still, she's thinking about it. Oh my gosh. All about SNS, right? Like when your crush likes your post and you're like, he likes me or she likes me. But it gave her like false hope. And she's like, I want to feel that again. But she knows it's not going to happen. Ah, oh, so cute and so true. That is like, I guess, what modern day relationships are these days. It's like, because there's so many people having relationships and there's so many options and sometimes you can like have that text messaging, right? So you don't really know who's doing it and a lot of some happening. Like the new, of course, not new term, but of course some, right? It's like, you don't really know what it is. Is it real? Is it not? And then sometimes somebody does fall for a person, but they give you false hope. Like the things they do in your mind, you think like, oh, that's how it, that's what it means, but it's not, right? But um, in the story, it's like, She's saying, I really liked you. Why did you do that? Like, you shouldn't have done that to give me false hope and make you like, like, make me like you. Um, and then he's saying, oh, whatever. I'm, I just did what I did and I'm a guy and who said that this relationship's gonna last or whatever, right? And then she's like, talking about SNS, which is very important these days. There's Kakao Talk, there's Kakao Story, there's your online profile, Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And it's just really sweet song about, I guess, uh, a young person in love. You might think it's a girl, but I think people who are in love or want to be in love, falling in love, everyone goes through this kind of thing, right? Where you think, oh, they like my Facebook picture, which means like, oh, they do like me. And so um, sometimes when you break up with someone or you stop that, you kind of wish when you put a picture up, right? Then you're like, I wonder if they're going to like it. Or sometimes you put a picture up and then you intentionally do it because it might be something that person liked and you want them, you want to draw them back in. So it's a really sweet song and I can now see why this song went to number one because it's, it's such uh, the mindset of somebody and since it's, I guess, people want to fall in love, it's summer in Korea, um, this might be a really, really interesting and sweet song. I thought it was a really happy song, but it's more of like a sadder song. But she does it in such a way that it's so sweet and kind and you think, oh, what did this guy do to this poor girl? But that's just relationships. And you know what? If he breaks up with you or if he doesn't return your text or if he doesn't do those kind of things, he's not just that. He's just not that into you. So get that in your mind or she's just not that into you. And move on, find somebody who's worthy of you and who will love you and who will like your post and who will text you and you don't have to like do that mil tongue all the time, like the push and pull, right? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Go check out this song. It has been at the top of the charts and I do expect it to be number one on the top 50 countdown next Saturday, which we do on our show, GFNK Popular. And that's 12 o'clock where we count down top 50 songs, the top hottest K-pop songs in the country. So thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, like the song, like the video, subscribe below and let us know what other cute and fun songs that you want us to read. Thank you very much. Bye. -bye.